welcome to journey another day with Jesus into your promised land knowing his will and submitting to his voice Greetings in Jesus name welcome to this beautiful new morning wherever you are tuning in from may the lord cause fresh rain to fall upon your spirit every morning when we gather like this to receive the word of god to receive the heart of god the mind of god the revelation a fresh revelation of god we are transforming ourselves we are setting ourselves for great victories great glories and great breakthroughs the psalmist he says it like this in psalm 19 and verse 11 He is speaking about the voice of God, the law of God, the word of God. He says, these voices that I hear week after week, day after day, these scriptures that I read every now and then, they are a warning to your servant and it is a great reward for those who obey them. Even though this word that is coming to me It is the same God who is speaking. It is the same Holy Spirit who is bringing that word and it is the same Jesus who is represented and manifested through that word. The effect that it will have on me will depend on my understanding and my revelation and my journey with the Lord. It says that if I am a servant that if I have an attitude of learning that if i'm submitted that if i'm yielded then it will serve as a warning to me if i'm not yielded to it it will just bring me condemnation and judgment and it is going to move me away from god but if i'm yielded to god if i'm submitted to god if my heart it is postured like a servant then the word of god it will bring me a warning we thank god for the warnings that come to us day after day we don't take these warnings lightly we don't take these warnings for granted we don't want to be so accustomed to hearing warnings that the warning doesn't make any more effect or sense to our spirit have you ever been in a car that has uh, these warning lights that is blinking in the dashboard and after a while you begin to ignore those warning lights if you're driving this for the very first time and the very first day that that warning light comes you take it very seriously you may even go on google and research what does this light stand for and what it is damaging or what is it affecting and after a period of time you get used to seeing that warning light over there and although that may be a very dangerous situation you just drive your car like everything is all right and that's exactly what happens to some of us when we don't value the warnings that is coming to us i pray that none of us will fall prey to this trap of getting accustomed to the warnings so much that we get used to it that we take it for granted and now it doesn't affect us anymore the word of god doesn't move us anymore the word of god doesn't thrill us anymore the word of god doesn't put fear of god in our hearts anymore the word of god it is supposed to be a warning to his servants so if you are a servant of the lord then i pray that this word that is coming to you this morning it will create a sense of panic not a panic that will drive you away from god but a panic that will cause an alarm cause you to be aware of the dangers that are surrounding you the next statement it's beautiful it says the same word of god which is a warning to the servants of god it is also a great reward for those who obey them so there is a group of people who are just servants of god and for them the word of god will only be a warning 
However, there is another category of people who are obeying the word of God, who are submitted to the word of God, who are practicing the word of God, who are intentional at pursuing the heart of God and practicing the heart of God. The Bible says the same word which was a warning to someone else will now become a reward to you. I'm excited for those of you who are about to receive a fresh reward from the Lord today. There is a gift that the Lord wants to give you this week. I don't know if you're ready for it, but if you've been practicing the word of God in this entire month, this month will not get over before you receive this reward and this blessing from the Lord. Not a single promise that is written in the scripture. It is going to fall to the ground. It is going to come to pass. It is going to elevate you. It is going to strengthen you. It is going to rebuild and restore you in the mighty name of Jesus. You're not without help. If you are a servant of the Lord who have been heeding to the warnings that is in scripture, then you will also now receive the grace to obey the word of God, to practice the word of God. This morning, as we read this scripture again and again and again, we are receiving warnings and we are receiving grace to obey. And as a result of the obedience, we are also receiving the blessings of that obedience, the reward of that obedience. Let me read this one more time to you. This is Psalm 19 and verse 11. The word of God they are a warning to your servant and a great reward for those who obey them. So Father, we thank you for speaking to us this morning. Wherever we are in life, whatever we are doing, we want to just pause from all of it to pay attention to what you are speaking to us so that we can receive the warning, we can receive the reward for the hearing of the word of God, for the doing of the word of God, for the practicing of the word of God. We love you and we honor your presence and your voice in our lives on a daily basis. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. Hope today's word will encourage you and build you for the day ahead. God bless you and Shalom.